75% of customers will leave their insurance carrier when they experience bad claim service. And that just resonates. It has basically yeah. driven me in this in industry that if a customer doesn't get paid enough, they, they, they don't leave. But if the adjuster mistreated them and ignored them, that's when they leave. And if you're the type of adjuster that's pushing the policy holders to the competition, you're, you're, you're not going to get a deployment. You know, they, they, insurance companies pay a lot of money to keep their, their book of business and they make the promise. And if we don't deliver on that promise, then they don't need us. So well, they don't need that adjuster. They're cut. Yeah. Or cutting into the, their profit or their revenue. I mean, period. Um, so yeah. And just, just I'll, I'll take this opportunity to tell, I have my own claim stories, um, that made me drop. Um, I had them for a long time and I had, um, hail damage on a pickup truck. I was driving, I was working in St. Louis on storm and I lived in Kansas city and I was driving home for the weekend and I got into Columbia, Missouri, and right on I-70 there. And right as a huge, like, supercell storm hit, I mean, I just, it was tennis ball, baseball size hail, and did, like, six or $7,000 worth of damage to brand wow. new truck that I just bought, <sighs> like a Ford F-150 dually, you know, or, for the, sorry, 350. And uh, anyway, so I'm, and all the overpasses were all crowded with cars as the storm was coming in. And I'm just like pulled over on the side of the road, just like watching the stuff, windshield shattering. And I got a, a moonroof, right? And I'm like, I'm looking, I hear, it's just, it sounded like somebody was shooting off like a 22 pistol right inside the car. Just pow, 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 pow. Closed the little thing. Nothing, it didn't break that. It was, I guess it's tempered sure. or made out of, you know, plexiglass or whatever. Anyway, so, um, and then, so I had that claim and I didn't have time to get to it for a few months, right? Cause I was right in the middle of storm season. And then I went to get redeployed someplace else and I had taken my fifth wheel up with me and caused some damage to it myself, right? I was on the phone with somebody and I was hooking up to leave the RV campground and I forgot to, to lock the pin on the fifth wheel hitch and it popped off of the hitch and landed right on the bed and talked with the bed, right? So I had, Two claims, basically. And one of them I did, and the other one was the hailstorm. And I finally got a chance to take the truck in. And um, at that time, State Farm was doing a, their team um, sort of methodology, I guess. So you call in, and I got team five. And whoever answered the phone at team five was working on my claim. And if the, pers the previous person I talked to didn't take notes in the system, then I had to re-explain everything. And it got a little bit tedious. And then I got accused of stealing... A rental car, uh, because this this thing was like, what was it? Um, they only were going to pay for the rental car long enough to do X work, and then after that, it was on me. And I, I had the previous conversation I had with the person. I was like, I totally understand that's no problem. Just at this date, you know, we'll sure. switch it over, and it's no big deal. You just pay me up to that date, and we're fine, right? And then the next time I got on the phone with somebody, talked for whatever reason. Um, accusing me of like trying wow. to steal steal like rental car days or whatever and i'm like okay and then i had another claim but this happened like within the course of like a year 18 months at my house big hailstorm well a, a, a kind of a big hailstorm hit and um damaged the roof and and i don't you know i'll just say this an ia was assigned to my claim from a company that i worked for um, or had worked for. And so I wanted to be there. I wanted to talk to the, to the adjuster. I wanted to, you know, and this, again, this is with through, which is, as you know, I mean, tabletop settlements, writing checks on site, all that kind of stuff. None of that happened with this guy. And the other thing was, is I had interior damage. He never, he never made a contact call. He just showed up, did it. And then, um, I lit, I lit the phones up and I called my manager at the IA firm that I know that I, that, and there was, people got some hot ears after that. And then I dropped from, cause I was like, you just, I'm sorry. And it was, and it was the, the IA firm's fault in that case. But the other one, I mean, the team thing was just, I was like, there's no way. And so I'm like thinking, you know, what, what carrier do I work for that, um, I don't know what,
firm does now. And I worked for them for a long time, so I'm not, not throwing them under the bus. It's just a simple case of like, it's the smallest things that can push the, take a customer and have them switch, right, is my, is my overall point. So it's, they lost me because they they didn't have an efficient so system treat- with the auto claim stuff. And then they lost me because they didn't, whoever the adjuster was, I don't even, I was missed. I wasn't, the, what, the claim wasn't handled very well. And um, I ended up talking to somebody. No, I, I did actually end up talking to that, to that guy. And I said, listen, I, I needed you to be here when you were here because I have damage on the inside. He's like, we'll just file a supplement for that. Okay, that was all well and good. But what if you haven't even gotten started yet? You're not quite sure like what an adjuster license is or even which one or ones to get. You don't know what gear and tools to buy. Do you even need a drone? In short, you want to know how to get started as a claims adjuster. How can you start adjusting claims? For money, right? We put together a comprehensive seven video series explaining in detail, step-by-step, the complete beginner's guide to getting started as an independent property adjuster. This is where you wanna start. And the best part, it's completely free and you can get started watching it right now at adjustertv.com slash start. In the meantime, YouTube has picked out a special video just for you. See you in the next one.